Good morning. Today is August the 9th. Welcome to the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm Margie, one of the lay readers, and I welcome you to this service of morning prayer. We begin on page four with the general confession. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws, and we have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. Grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live, after live a godly, sober, and righteous life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Today's psalm is number 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, Though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar, and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God of Jacob, when the earth shakes and the nations are in uproar, speak and let the storm be still. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The lesson is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning to read at verse 35. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body will they come? How foolish. What you sow does not come to life unless it dies. When you sow, you do not plant the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. But God gives it a body as he has determined, and to each kind of seed he gives its own body. Not all flesh is the same. People have one kind of flesh, animals have another, birds another, and fish another. There are also heavenly bodies and there are earthly bodies, but the splendor of the heavenly bodies is of one kind and the splendor of the earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another, and the stars differ from star in splendor. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being, the last Adam, a life-giving spirit. 
The spiritual did not come first, but the natural, and after that, the spiritual. The first man was of the dust of the earth, the second man is of heaven. As was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth, and as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are of heaven. And just as we have borne the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. But listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Here endeth the lesson. The Lord's Prayer is on page 11. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The collect for today let thy merciful ears, O Lord, be open to the prayers of thy humble servants and that they may obtain their petitions. Make them to ask such things as shall please thee through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all of our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <clears throat>